All right, so uh, welcome back. And uh, so uh, in the previous part of this video, we um, we uh, solved for the zeroth order solution, uh, y not x. And then we were solving for the first order, order uh, term, y1. And we found this uh, uh, second order linear differential equation subject to a forcing, which basically comes from the zeroth order solution, y not. Uh, so the forcing is of the form minus two cosine x divided by sine one. And um, so one of the ways for solving, uh, uh, so, so we know that y1 will have a homogeneous uh, solution of the form, uh, which, which, which is the same as uh, that for the homogeneous solution for y0, which is uh, with a solution which will be C3, some constant C3 times sine of x plus some constant C4 times cosine of x. Um, but but, but it will also have a particular solution uh, coming from the forcing term. And one of the ways to determine the particular solution is to use what is called the method of variation of parameters, um, where we assume that a solution for y1 of the form u1, some, which is some function of x, times phi1, which is one of the uh, homogeneous solutions, in this case, let's say sine of x, plus u2, another undetermined. So u1 and u2 are undetermined functions of x, which we need to find out. Um, and then uh, cosine of x, uh, which in this case, uh, or phi 2x, which in this case happens to be cosine of x. So, uh, so according to this method, um, the, uh, the a solution for u1 and u2 exists, um, or rather u1 and u2 are solved for by uh, solving two equations, which are uh, u1 prime phi 1 plus u2 prime phi 2 is 0. And u1 prime phi 1 prime plus u2 prime phi 2 prime is equal to the forcing term. Let's just write the forcing term of as f of x. So if we if we can find u1 and u2 that satisfies uh, these two equations, uh, those will be the functions u1 and u2 that we'll use here and that will give us a particular solution. Uh, so. Uh, if you uh, if if uh, if you would like to review how these conditions are derived, uh, we'll make another video to just to review uh, for an for an equation of this form, uh, second order linear differential equation of this form. How are these two conditions derived? Uh, for now, uh, let's just identify. Phi one will be sine of x. Phi two will be cosine of x. F of x will be minus two cosine x divided by sine one. And u one and u two are something we need to figure out. Um, so let's just solve this and see what u1 and u2 turn out to be. So uh, let's solve the first. Let's get rid of u2 prime from the first equation. So, um, so u2 prime will be uh, minus u1 prime uh, phi of 1 divided by phi of 2, which in our case, phi of 1 is sine of x. So it's minus u1 prime sine of x divided by phi 2 is cosine x, so it's this. So u2 prime is minus u1 prime sine of x divided by cosine of x. And then we can substitute this in the second equation. Um, so therefore, u1 prime, uh, five, since phi 1 is sine of x, phi 1 prime, which we need here, is cosine of x. So u1 prime cosine of x. u2 prime is minus u1 prime sine of x divided by cosine x. And then phi 2 prime is the derivative of cosine, which is minus of sine. So that will give us a plus sine of x is equal to the forcing term, which fx in our case is it's minus 2 cosine x divided by sine 1. Uh, and let's just write this constant as a just for convenience for now. So we can write this as a cosine x, right? Okay. so. Uh, so now we can multiply uh, this entire equation by cosine of x. That will give us u1 prime cosine square x plus u1 prime sine square x equals a cos square x. So we find u1 prime cosine square x plus sine square x is a cosine square x. And, and just to remind uh, ourselves, a this quantity is something that we are writing as a for now, uh, minus 2 divided by sine 1. Okay, but cosine of x plus sine square x is just 1. Uh, so, so that simplifies. So we can write this as uh, 
of u1 prime is a cosine square x. Okay, so now this equation we can integrate to find u1. So this is du1 dx and we can write du, du1, uh, du1 dx equals a cosine square x. So we can separate the variables and integrate this. And this gives us u1 of x is um, a. Uh, now the integral of cosine square x can be obtained by writing it as um, half of dx plus half of cosine 2x dx. And this gives us a times, uh, the integral of this is x divided by 2 plus uh, the integral of cosine is sine but there's a factor of 2 here so that's 1 over 4 sine 2x and that's u1x right um, great so that gives us u1x um, and now we can find out what's u2x um, so let's do that now so if you, um, so u2 prime is minus u1 prime sine of x divided by cosine x. Uh, so let's just highlight this. Okay, so um, u2 prime is minus u1 prime. Now u1 prime is a cosine square x. So it's minus a cosine square x sine of x divided by cosine x that gets rid of one of the terms and so we end up having um, minus a uh, sine x cosine x which can actually be written as minus a divided by 2 sine of 2x okay um, So now we can integrate this equation uh, u2 prime uh, by again by separating variables. So we find d of u2 is uh, minus a divided by 2 sine 2x dx integral and so u2x is minus now the integral of sine is minus of uh, cosine so and then there's a factor of 2 so there's a divided by 4 cosine 2x right uh, so we have u2 and we have u1 um, now let's combine the two uh, to complete uh, to to write the complete particular solution um, so uh, the particular solution for us is let's get rid of this okay so the particular solution is uh, y1 particular is uh, if you recall it's u1 uh, prime phi1 plus u2 prime phi2 uh, sorry, uh, it's u1 phi1 plus u2 phi2. Sorry, u1 phi1 plus u2 phi2. So u1 is uh, a divided by 2x uh, plus 1 by 2 sine 2x times phi1. And phi1 we know is sine of x plus we have a divided by 4 cosine 2x times phi of 2, which is cosine of x okay so we can simplify this a little more and write this in the form so this is a divided by 2 x sine of x plus a divided by 4 now we have cosine 2x cosine x uh, plus sine of 2x sine of x uh, so mm, maybe we can write it out in full so this is plus a divided by 4 cosine 2x cosine x plus sine 2x sine x now uh, if you recall the trigonometric identity cosine of 
a cosine b plus sine a sine b is cosine uh, b minus a. So this entire solution can be written as uh, a by 2 x sine x plus a by 4. This entire quantity can be combined to be written as cosine of 2x minus x which is just x. Okay, so this is um, our particular solution for y1. Um, but we also have its homogeneous part. Um, so, so this was just a quick sort of short review of how the method of variation parameters works for this. Um, so let's take this uh, um, particular solution and plug it and, and add it to the homogeneous solution and then use the Brownian conditions to solve for the complete uh, solution y1 uh, and then we can write down combine both y0 and y1 to write the full solution to leading order in epsilon. Um, so so let, let's do that in the next part. Uh, just take this and combine it with the homogeneous solution to solve for the boundary conditions. So um, see you in the next part. Thanks.